All right, in this video, I am going to be talking to you about... <clears throat> I am going to be talking to you about no human rights, that's for sure not. <clears throat> I'm going to point you out one thing here, okay? Um, his name is Milan Kuchan. This politician here who was involved since 1995 and did a whole lot of evil and earned money for his son, earned money for his family with the evil. Did the whole, a whole, a lot of evil for the people whom he represented and the people whom he represented did a lot of evil, a lot, a lot of evil. And I don't like doing this. I don't like pointing out that people don't get me wrong, I don't like doing this stuff, but this individual have with this individual here caused a lot of problems, a lot of evil. Both of these were presidents of what they should never ever be as both of these were candidates to become a president of Greater Serbia, or I should say Greater Serbian Chetnik State, previously known as Yugoslavia. Both of these were candidates to become, to replace Slobodan Milosevic. They were very highly qualified people. Chair not chairman, but presidential chair already in Belgrade for these people. And they became eventually Slovenian presidents. You know, I'm going to have to go to Ljubljana with this stuff. Because at the police station of the Novo Mesto, I'm not going to be talking to you about the violations this police station committed, as you all know. This is not a police station. This is something else. Now, the people from Ljubljana coordinated all this stuff. The man that you have just seen, the two guys, and others. Such as this individual here. This was a president of Slovenia. We had this one here. This was the president of Slovenia also. I don't like doing this stuff, don't get me wrong. But these are the people that hated me. Because supposedly that I sided with the royals. And I did. I didn't know anything about the royals. In 1995. I was naive. I was from Slovenia. I was 23 years old when I left the United States of America to work 20 hours a day, 7 days a week for barely 500 US dollars in tips of which total actually was maybe 400 US dollars and a hundred dollar was a salary. So the combine it was $500 per month for 20 hours a day, seven days a week. It was aboard the ship, Celebrity Cruise Lines, Meridian. And when hijacked, abducted for beatings, for torture, it was exactly these people who did what I became under MK Ultra. They commenced in this ring of evil. Really left me with really, really nobody. I shouldn't say nobody on my side because there was people also that sided with me. I don't I shouldn't say sided with me, but let's just say they fell for me. Okay? Because it was very, very inhumane stuff. These people have predicted 
what I already announced uh, on the website, on my blog, Arrival to Ljubljana, where I will meet with the police, where I will find several complaints, not only against police, but Slovenian state foremost. It's shoveling. It's problematic because it's intruding every aspect of my life on every millimeter along the way. Everything I do, everything is intrusive, disturbing. It's causing me problems. This allows me to go on with my life. It destroyed 30 years of my life through the butcheries, not through the torture. And I'm pleased to say I have proven the fact. Otherwise, I would feel if somebody would say this, this is not very credible. But I am the only person who stated something like this. And I am the only person ever who managed to prove this with audio recordings, with the people identifying, pointing out facts. These people have predicted my being destroyed one day. They sure did not predict it. Milan Kuchan did not predict it when that was about to take place. But he hated me. He hated me for likening myself to NATO. He hated me for likening myself to royals. He hated me for likening myself to the European Union. He hated me for my departure to the United States of America, which citizen I became in 2000. He hated me for being alive to begin with. The sin I made was breathing air, basically, being alive. He hated me. Everything in me, everything that existed, is the man who lived for the hatred. This is the man, however, to whom British royals have turned for help, for assistance, for support. You wouldn't believe. but to further genocide against me. Don't ask why. For me, to take sides, it's too late. If I would take sides, I wouldn't choose any different. I would have done the same thing I did. I wouldn't change. But my decisions I made, I wouldn't make a single change. Every decision I made, I made with precision and with extreme stubbornness, persistence, following up on them without giving up an inch. These people predicted my future visitations to even what became it was not at the time yet you know but they predicted that I will go to Slovenian Ministry for Interior they did predict it of course that I will go to police to complain about it and the one who formed this police departments the one who formed this Ministry of Interior in Slovenia was really no other than Milan Kuchan with his apparatchiks. Like Robert Golot, you see right there. Schoolmate of Borat Pahar. Maybe the worst. The guy is here on the right, Janis Janša. Basically everybody in this picture that should have been in a position have encouraged others who presented themselves as opposition.
to simply fulfill legacy of failure, of self-sabotage to Slovenian nation when one needed them the most. So it was a failure after failure, deliberate self-sabotage with Igor Baucar, with, I think his name is, uh, I don't know what his name is, he was also caught, by the British he was caught. It's like bizarre. Uh, really, really bizarre stuff. They were setting themselves up deliberately so that Milan Kuchan could grow and grow and grow his reputation due to crime involvement against me among Slovenian people. Finally, they disbanded the Slovenian military known as Slovenian Territorial Defense, Slovenska Teritarna Obramba, which liberated Slovenia from Serbian aggressor in 1991. Uh, Slovenia, this is a story about a national fuck-up, disgrace more than anything. A story of self-sabotage, a failure, a betrayal. Success for some built on forced psychiatry, forced unemployment, denial of the right to police, denial of the right to all agencies that came to surface. I would even say since my departure to the United States of America in 1995, in the beginning of the 1995, or I should say end of the 1994. I couldn't believe when they brought me to Ljubljana and they stated, now you have this agency, and the one who did was Milan Kuchan. And now, now you're not going to have this and this. They had to follow, they had to follow other European Union countries, states, comply with it, and elect, so to say, to camouflage themselves. So they could look, they could blend into Germany, they could blend into Italy, they could blend into France and Spain. And Britain was still at the time in the European Union, recently exited, escaped. But other European Union countries that had all kinds of <coughs> bodies in place, To what I sincerely even believe, prevent corruption, uh, prevent various criminal government activities, stop the possibilities of, you know, certain people uh, going too far publicly, at least, right? You know, the crime is in every country and so on, but this is this is bizarre because it's so evident, it's so bright out on the light, and the violations are so, so severe. Violations that involved, I would say, human experimentation. But this is really what butcher is. The U.S. government provided Slovenian site on behalf of Russia with a cancer technology, provided them with abductions, of course, and have gone as far as pushing me into situations to develop as severe as possible cardiovascular issues to test the products on me, uh, scan American health system, departments for neurology, cardiologists throughout the United States of America. Uh, various departments as per whether those would be willing to assist me and all kinds of shit like this. Medications, new medications and so on. Bizarre, insane, uh, poisonous stuff tested on me sometimes just to see what damage can do to somebody that doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, is a completely healthy, normal person. A guinea pig, basically destroyed just for the fuck of it. Human being. 23 is when I was old, when I left the United States. I'm now 51, if that, this tells you anything. 
And these agencies in Slovenia were popping up one after another, one after another. And Milan Kuchin claimed, oh, we're never going to have this one. We're not going to have that one. And they did. Then he would personally take me. He would personally take me to these people, including to what became Human Rights Ombudsman, which came to the picture as the last. Uh, Milan Kuchin did ensure that he would deliver me to this Ministry of Interior Police investigating uh, special police for prevention of corruption all these people beforehand before they was even opened into their premises talk with the people that are going to be elected uh, and tormented harassed tortured with the issue in my face given by these people alone whom he administered, literally, in my face, that is so. Nothing you'll be able to do for me when I come to complain one day. As for the last one that came to life was really Human Rights Ombudsman. This agency is... Uh, a Human Rights Ombudsman tortured me last time in year 2000 and... Uh, it could have been even 17, but I think it was 2015. Brought there, a female lady told me, you know, they make me even write complaint. Told me, sit down, you write a complaint, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. But it was for the Milan Kuchan, and it's something what I afterwards tasted also inside of the European Union Parliament. I tested this to wherever they delivered me, exactly, exactly, all went on the same concept. At the United Nations, at Strasbourg, in, in Zurich, in Washington, D.C., it always was done on the, through the same, same, same concept. They had somebody, a great teacher, the Milan Kuchan, the first thing he did was he started to learn English, improve his extremely poor English in 1995 to make impression on British royals as everybody laughed at him with his English. And even, it wasn't funny, his English. What was funny was his hatred for the English. What was ridiculous was the man who had to learn English with so much hatred for Americans, for the Germans, for everything he saw. It's not that I stood up for. I had begun to stood up for this stuff because of him. But really not. I really always sympathized with the European Union, with the United States. I did not approve greater Serbian Chetnik state. Uh, but it went into hell, the whole thing, because of this politic here in Slovenia. They pushed me this issue down the throat, even for the cost of total betrayal from the British, especially London, Buckingham Palace, British, total derision for any kind of human dignity. And still I sided with them, that's how bad it was here in Slovenia, no matter what. This turned diabolical, this whole thing. But, you know, I will not forget in 2001. In 2001, ladies and gentlemen, in 2001, I was brought to already went like two years, this stuff. They were bringing me to Ljubljana from home and stuff. <clears throat> and if I zoom myself out of this here, you get an idea. This is a capital here. This is uh, capital Slovenia, Ljubljana. And then you have here, you have a novel mess. That's basically where I am from. Uh, let's say Sebnica right here. This is where Melania Trump is from. This is about well, like very near here. Um, 
they were keep bringing me since 98 it started before they even formed these agencies uh, to bring me inside the building and severely tortured before they even bring me inside the building already tortured for day two sleep deprived it was like a regular procedure uh, from door to door entire block tortured you could even say spit in the face literally then delivered to this guy finally so it would be as hard as possible to get to him that's how Milan Kuchan always presented the issues they always presented Bord Pahor um, Gregor Golovic these people always presented the issues like in a in a very like you're not going to be able to do nothing what do you think you're going to do there's nothing you're going to do there's nothing you can do okay we're going to bring you to to him this is the way it was there's nothing you're going to do you nothing you can do nothing you will be able to accomplish nothing you will do what do you think you're going to do now you have this what do you think you're going to do okay you know what we're going to deliver to him and so it was after a few days of torture delivered to him were also tortured from one office to another and this is how it went one year two year three year it just went on they would they would still deliver me to these people over and over and over to brain kill me as much as possible finally to human rights ombudsmen were severely Severely, severely abused since the agency opened. This was the last one of all these institutions in Slovenia that opened. I don't know uh, what year was it. I I don't recall. Maybe I have no clue. Maybe I remember that the first one was in '98, whatever that was. Uh, there was one was formed extremely quickly you know, that you could co that I could take complaint to. It was like like in ninety seven that was the first. Then the next one was in ninety eight and ninety nine definitely came to life. Then it was the next one that came to life. Whatever branch of the government was that. Uh, so the Ministry of Interior obviously was first, and then it was. Um, Probably for prevention of corruption, maybe some shit like this, maybe 2001, maybe even or something like this. 99, I don't know, maybe something more with the police. Uh, it went like this, and I would be meeting these politicians, like Tanya, Tanya, for all these politician, politicians I mentioned, I would, many I didn't mention, I would, you would be throughout the entire Ljubljana, you know. Um, It says here, uh, human rights ombudsman, and then it says here, uh, awareness programs for prevention of dementia are crucial for, uh, listen, these people are so fucking retarded when compared to me. You're talking about the professors, doctors, that don't speak even a quarter of the English I do, or I should say a foreign language. Yeah, they fucking sit right there and they talk about dementia. They talk about the stigma, they, yeah, to prevent the stigma in a disease and so on. It's exactly what I was promised is going to be posted on the Human Rights Ombudsman website. The Human Rights Ombudsman website, where I was probably brought to this Human Rights Ombudsman, uh, beginning sometimes in 2004, when one did not even exist, I think. I think it came to life probably at about, well, in 2008. But it doesn't make difference to me, because I was brought all the way 2015 and maybe even all the way to 2017 for nothing other than just to be told 
what you read here, I have translated to you. So this is like, what the fuck now? You're working as a human rights ombudsman to warn people about dementia? Really? Really? Uh, what else do you want to warn them about? Obviously that you are appealing to psychiatry. Obviously that you are doing, you are a psychiatric branch, that you are actually enforcing the fear in the people's bones. Obviously that what you are doing have no place on your website to be even posted. But okay, these people here that you see, they all were involved. With the exception of one, all were involved in genocide against me. Not in crime, but in genocide. This genocide constituted for about probably what would qualify 100 genocides. It went on for 30 years. And it was nothing they did not exploit. It left me with a severe dire health consequences because of this abuse. Um, don't you worry about it. This week, maybe even tomorrow, um, after tomorrow, I should say, because tomorrow is Sunday. Today is actually already Sunday. It's midnight. I'm recording this. On Monday, I might stop here. Anyways, it doesn't really matter what you see here. It doesn't matter what I was told. Uh, I will come here. I will talk to you about it. And I'm going to take a complaint against you on another location. And whatever location I'm going to go to, I'm going to take a complaint against them and you to another location with proofs. That's basically how it's done. And that's how Slovenia is buying a genocide. This is a genocidal, murderous state that have endured genocide before. Uh, however, have never recognized human rights in a light of those concerned for human rights. It's a small, tiny little country that experienced the worst, yet is obligated to promote the worst in this world, uh, to pave its way through corruption, through criminality, uh, for the cost of not only, I'm going to say, human rights, but international issues which already resulted in several countries in a bloodshed. This is what Slovenia did. This is what this case did. This case contributed to a lot of bad stuff in this world. And this is, these are the people who actually contributed the most. You can't be more but criminal when you work at human rights, as a human rights ombudsman's office, and you advocate uh, a criminal, corrupt ways which I already have described. I will not, I will not go into it. It's, what is it? Who is more liable? Is it the president or is somebody that is... It, you know what the ombudsman is? What the meaning of the word itself? It appears to me like it's not there to present uh, its meaning, but exactly contrary to, the, to its meaning. It, it, it means to me, it, it, I see this as a, as a top, top violator. The first place I'm going to stop is going to be exactly this place here, because this is the one that is liable the most. Then the next one is going to be the one that is going to be liable as the second the most. And then the third the most, and so on and so forth. This should be a relief valve in case all state agencies would, not going to say give in, but fail to comply with laws, with constitution, with European Union laws, 
Uh, therefore, domestic and foreign and international laws uh, concerning some kind of human rights and so on. Yeah, this is this is the one that is making sure that all other government institutions could continue to fail and have continued to fail. This was the office that committed more crime against me than any other office in the entire Slovenian state. This actually was like a prestigious office in Slovenia because uh, it was just something that I was going to say about Milan Kucha and hair, his hair went up when heard about something like this is going to be in Slovenia, but um, it was just it's just contrary to to its beliefs. I mean, which kind of explains that Milan Kucin actually this is a dictator. Is that very very dic dicta dictator is? It's got nothing to do with the communism, wherever that he saw himself in the light of communism. So he could approximate the Chinese side. Uh, everything but what individual presented himself, uh, himself at, as so that he could gain his weight, his popularity. And so I was told beginning the 2001, and it was interesting because I had a neighbor, Donna Collins, I had a neighbor, uh, Andre Ull, they were extremely, extremely active. And it was not that this started in uh, talking about what I previously have described, how I was brought to these agencies. It wasn't agencies, it was a, through the good portion of Ljubljana, through the whatever companies. were willing to set themselves up with this stuff, I would be brought to. Like I said, Yanis Yansha is one disgrace for this country, a bigger than Milan Kuchan. Of course, because it's a so-called opposition of Milan Kuchan. And so is Rubel, and so is Boucher, and so were others that have deliberately committed what the stuff I'm talking about. He's, that's what he was allowed, basically, to do. In other words, they saw themselves in something else more, a little bit more than in this little country, in this little nation that came to light. I was so proud about. Um, in 2001, however, this crime exploded. Exploded. I have found myself here including with the neighbors in Ljubljana. Uh, I mean, this area here, you see here, this is Podgrad and this and that. But I can tell you that the personnel from psychiatry, psychiatric hospital Ljubljana, police, they have very, very near here. Okay, we're going to take the human rights ombudsman Oh, yeah, we're going to use this one here. It's very, very close by here, like this. Well, not exactly, all right, like seven kilometers, all right, but this is like very, very in, in a total, total vicinity of this, you know. Very, very close, actually, really is, you know, one hour and a half of walk, and you are here, you know. And so, to me, it was like in 2001, you know, that, <laughs> holy shit, uh, I found myself here, you know, in this occasion, before I did already, many, many times. But this was not isolated area. I was in many, many other areas. I was in, in here, all over the place, and in Khan and and in copper and, and along the coast and Novo Mesto, Bela Kraina, uh, Maribor over there in the Steirska region. Uh, I'm telling you, all the way to 
Morska Sobota, Lendava, border with the Hungary, and what they were doing, they was actually eavesdropping people. They set the people up and they espionage on them to see what political party that they belong. And at times have also destroyed with forced unemployment people. Did a lot of stuff to the people. If it's not the people would see themselves in me, but this couldn't be more wrong, more illegal, more criminal than what it was. But it was just enough that you did not bend down to Milan Kurchan, to greater Serbian Chetnik state, in other words, to greater Serbian Chetnik state, in other words, and you were as good as that. You had signed off. That's all there is. No job for you, not for your family. Dead. You get a visit from psychiatrists and stuff like that. So, you know, in 2001, this guy started to get serious. Even that human rights ombudsman didn't come to life. I actually estimate the human rights ombudsman came to life in 2004. Even that they told me that it was in 2009 that came to life, something like this. It was the last one and so on and so forth. I don't think so. But what happened here, I know that probably human rights ombudsman came to life maybe 2003, 2004. Uh, I believe so. Because, um, you know, from this location, you know, this location, why did I zoom here to this location? I zoomed to this location because it really ended in a such a way that I am totally, totally compelled to commute myself from the city of Nova Mesa to Ljubljana to start with the complaints. Yeah. Uh, if I would start with the Nova Mesa, right, I could potentially get myself in trouble. Then the next thing is, why the hell would you start with the lowest instant in this chain? But you have to know the proper sequence, which I already have explained, is with the most sensitive of all agencies. It's a human rights ombudsman. You know, and then is the Office for Prevention of Corruption. You know, special police investigation and so on and so forth. And then of, you know, so for prevention of the state corruption and that kind of stuff. And then is uh, for Imperial Ministry and so on and so forth. You understand? You don't want to. You don't want to start with Nova Mesta and then go to uh, Interior Ministry. Uh, give them more chance, basically. If not chance, you're giving them a hope. You're giving them a choice because it's stupid. That's not how you do it. And then maybe for Office for Prevention of Corruption, and then maybe to the Human Rights. No, 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 no. Because it's such a severe violations. You see, it gives me the right to file the charges against the Slovenian state request the assistance on several different uh, grounds, is what I would refer to as. All of which are impossible to prove me wrong. So, for me to go through the people that are causing this uh, would be more, much more, I'm going to say, legitimate uh, for me to obtain, obviously, uh, a statement, uh, already an explanation from the people that immediately should sense a threat from the state and uh, side with me, which they will not, because the last time I was at the Human Rights Ombudsman in Slovenia in 2015 or 2017, as I stated, the first thing they did was they drilled me with all kinds of issues. How I look, how this, how that. Everything was inappropriate. Like for 10 years, there is nothing you can do. Actually, 10 years, I said. Yeah, that shit went on for like 15 years. Now I'm actually thinking that maybe even came to life. I don't know, really. So different to tell. And there were so many different politicians. And these politicians have changed themselves in the way they presented. And I didn't, I really didn't go and bother to see uh, let me see this. It would be quite interesting. 
but it's not going to make any difference. This is what I'm trying to say. Since when? Since when? I I was in this building. I was I was going to this building. I was meeting these people already way before the agency even came to light. You know? So this is maybe terrible. You know, let's go see the lady. And you don't know anything. You said the human right. You want to go to the human rights, and we told you it's going to be a human rights ombudsman. It's a good news. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, so and then you go and they start to abuse you and all kinds of stuff like this on a million times. Um, it's 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 hard for somebody uh, that you eventually expose him uh, to face he alone that he would face the anti-corruption uh, he alone faces uh, Ministry of Interior and they all together face than somebody else. That's very that's that's harder than if you go through the channels they anticipated me I would go through. Um, so this is why this is why the procedure like this. And the last one that came to life was officially like was this one here. And how you're going to do this stuff here. Well it was so easy for me to recall neighbor here, uh, Berger Alish, uh, his father, Berger Miroslav, the only place it's going to be uh, Ljubljana Zoo. Ljubljana Zoo is going to be the last, your last bet. You know, Ljubljana Zoo, uh, Ljubljana Zoo. All right, so I, I, I don't want to waste my time. Ljubljana Zoo. Ljubljana Zoo, you would go here like this, you know, and uh, when it comes to Ljubljana Zoo, there is this institute, you know, they drew in the beginning in 1995, I don't know, see that here. So they, they wanted me to spend the whole week in Ljubljana camping, basically, like homeless. That's what they were teaching me beginning the 2001. Beginning the 2001, look, this, this here, this is a Ljubljana Zoo. It's going to be your only place, Ljubljana Zoo. Uh, and here is this institute for what is it for health, for what? Zdravstvo in Ljubljana, here, uh, for the Forestry Institute of Slovenia. They all along this and throughout entire Ljubljana, they drilled me back and forth and, and involved people and for me to identify people, identify people and so on, which to me it was rather like uh, that the people that already make very good money with... <laughs> very good salaries and me broken completely without nothing in it. you know without a fucking dime fighting to become a residence to gain a residence status in the United States of America hijacked from the United States of America being in 1995 uh, threatened will be institutionalized here in Slovenia beginning the 1995 right next to home for elderly people in Novo Mesto at this institution here for uh, mentally disabled people, for the people with special mental uh, needs, assistance. Um, and my family, my lovely family, just wanted to, together with the Milan coach, and they, they would just decided that the best place would be for me actually to be, you now the internet is kind of slow, it would be just to be institutionalized, yeah? Uh, and portray with the assistance of the U.S. government as somebody who, in fact, never ever even uh, visited the United States of America. It was this black immigration officer who was, I think he was rather relieved in 1997 when he told me he kept threatening me you know and I, I i misunderstood him i didn't fucking understand 
uh, when when the stuff like this happens, he, you know, he probably was trying to warn me about the threat, the great threat I am facing during MK Ultra that I can actually be thrown out of the United States of America and brought to Slovenia straight into this institution, locked inside in there and just given the medication to you go fucking mad. Never see the daylight again, basically. This is what I faced in 1995, and it's something exactly what Balazic, a physician, and a physician here, the neighbor, he's from the General Hospital, Nalmes, and then you have a physician, Igor Kotar, have stated to me. If you go to United States of America, you're going to be pronounced as an insane. They wouldn't even want to give me a health certificate, which I needed for the work abroad a cruise line uh, and then I had to go to Salzburg to Austria to get that done and so on so I could travel and I mean the lunacy that you possibly cannot imagine the the ways these people uh, utilize to basically keep one almost I'm gonna say like a bad written I don't I, I don't know how to really relate myself to this stuff anymore okay I I find this rather, oh man, now this stuff is, is, is even rotating and so on. Um, this is what I really don't need right now. Ah. Let's do it like this. Yeah, 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 this is an insane, eh? How the hell did that turn around and then? Oh, no. I think we have a company anyway, so I'm using the internet. And I, I don't know what is going on all of a sudden with this. The signal is good, everything is okay, I don't, but this is crazy. Yeah, so I was going to show you this facility right next to home for elderly people where they were trying to throw me inside. Uh, I have to make a video about that one. Yeah. Oh, boy, boy, boy. All this stuff, beginning in 1995, and Ljubljana, beatings. This was all the stuff that was uh, popular to Milan Kojan. Uh, they were certain that this place here, that you see right here, and which is located here, Novo Mesta, right next to where my father is now. They had father in there already for several, on several occasions, and other people whom I have identified in and out, in and out, in and out. This that will become my new home at age 23. They wanted to kill me, basically, at all the costs. But they couldn't, because I never went mad, despite the degree of torture I endured. And so I figured out, really, that it's going to take me time to get to Ljubljana and see what these people basically require before sending that main complaint is a Germans in Berlin, sadistically, like von der Leyen, Angela Merkel, demanded for me to go through this barbarous procedure with the Slovenian authorities, will receive on their table. I mean, people I sided with in 1995, still, and I sided with my entire life for this little country to become part of the European Union, that's basically civilized society really have nothing to do with what I imagine the country is going to look in a post period of what used to be this greater Serbian Chetnik state on Balkans. A great, great disappointment, a great deal of disappointment is what these people have provided me with. Extremely, extremely disappointed. But let's just set this stuff aside and let's go and see what they basically envisioned. This area here, 
I, I didn't know what am I going to do. Yeah, but if you're going to go for a whole week, you better know how you're going to survive here camping, basically. First of all, I was advised when I said to you, Ljubljana Zoo, Ljubljana Zoo, why is going to be Ljubljana Zoo? Oh, this is fucking scary, you know, they throw you inside of the psychiatric hospital and they deliver you to the psychiatric hospital all the time, drugged up, and then they throw you inside of the psychiatric hospital just as they promise. And they talk about the zoo and all this shit, this is just a fucking zoo in your head, you know. They totally dement person, they totally brain kill you. So why this zoo, why this Ljubljana zoo came on a picture? I was thought, and this is what we're going to see in this and that. You know. This shit started in 2001 with this. Ljubljana Zoo, because in Slovenia, um, in Slovenia, there is up to 1,000 euros if they get you lodging somewhere well nine th uh, up from 100 i don't know from 85 to 1000 if they get you like in a national park like an exclusive park uh but otherwise if you lodge in a private uh area or they get you they police that you're lodging in a forest that you're sleeping camping in there uh, without authorization, whatever, you can be punished with minimum 83 euros. It's a very, 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 very bad stuff. So they told me, well, uh, going through all this, and when I say going through all this, what exactly do I mean by this, going through all this? I went through all this stuff here, and I can tell you that um, all these areas here, we walked from Novo Mesto all the way to Ljubljana during MK Ultra, drove back and forth, and police was uh, checking the people, and people were trying themselves well, who can do better and who, you know, who did better and so on. Oh, let me demonstrate to you here this stuff here. They're going to do it like this. I was in all these locations, I mean, um, <clears throat> we're just going to do it like this. I was just looking at this stuff. In, 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 in my life, like in real, I never went anywhere out of really, out of this home except for what I have written. I had nothing to do with this. Uh, I was too much into solving this problem, solving these issues. But I realized that I was with uh, God knows how many people all over the place. My God, they had me in all these campings, all these places where you could go camp and so on. And they made me feel literally that this penalty they came along with, which is claiming, demanding up to beginning with 85 euros for illegally camping Taboriania. Um, you see this, this stuff here. Um, no, there is another one, but there, there is another one. This is Ivanshna. Camp records and no 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 there is another one here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is this here? Could be maybe right. No, it's not. Let me see that. No, it's not. It, you, you might get an impression that I'm actually like looking for like exclusive location I would present myself and really this camping plots let's say here
I'm going to say to you like this. Everywhere you see here along this highway that goes toward Ljubljana, yeah. everywhere I was, I lodged. They had me drive with the people back and forth, checking all the time. Um, police checking, giving advice where you can, where you cannot, how you, how this, how that. This shit started in 2001. It started in 2001. Where you can lodge, where not. How am I going to lodge? Where am I going to lodge? When I go and do this final step. And then they only came up with this penalty of 85 euros, I was told. Maybe I have no idea, 2010 or something, 2011, something like this. They came with this, it's going to be so much and so much, it's over. You will not be able, now it's a zoo. Now it's a zoo, you're going to, uh, only in the zoo and this and that, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, these forests, this these locations here, they make me walk during MK Ultra. all this everywhere all this as you see here Vishnagara, all this stuff here Grasuple, Stichna, Ivanchna Gorica, all this stuff Radohovavas all these locations are where you can where you cannot and so on and so forth and when I was looking at this stuff eventually they they told me that for you they told me, for you, the best thing is going to be uh, you're going to have to find because of the locations and stuff like this. And I didn't even look this stuff yet for this, this stuff, Interior Ministry and uh, Human Rights Ombudsman. They told me it's going to be on this side of Ljubljana. It's going to be on this side of Ljubljana. Opposed to Durin MK Ultra, they drilled me all the time on this side of Ljubljana. Yeah, you're going to come in the morning and you're going to do business in Ljubljana. Then what you're going to do is you're going to again live to this side. And when I say to this side here, um, what I will say to you is in 2001, Connection. Uh, in 2001, found myself here in this place along this Ljubljana here, all this walking back and forth, walking back and forth. Um, there is a fishing association here also. Ribishka uh, Drujina, Ribogoinsa, Ribish. All these people I met, I got to know everybody, this entire area, the people. It became totally polluted. Uh, totally, totally polluted MK Ultra area. And they demanded on what is a fucking bizarre hijacked from the United States of America, brought here and demanded for me to you see this, this here, this, all this. Demanded from me to learn where am I gonna wish here in the forest and I'm gonna pick it up here. So I'm gonna be camping here while reporting myself to the human rights ombudsman and ministry for interior that is gonna require from me about three days, four days of stay in Ljubljana, uh, camping here inside of this forest, returning back here and heading from here back uh, to location to report myself, write this reports, meet with the people and stuff like this. So this. This shit started in 2001. I can tell you that it was day after day without sleep with Milan Kuchan promising me a death, uh, swearing himself on my death right behind this uh, it's a Starigrad 
Uh, that's an old castle, it says right there. And uh, then we have this here tower uh, in Edeben uh, Spitz, top, top. Uh, and behind this is a memorial dedicated to the national, Slovenian national resistance to the partisans, uh, the World War II memorial. And it's beginning in 1995, 1996. This is one of the memorials where Milan Kuchan delivered me for beatings with others. This is where the beatings also started in Ljubljana. This is where the heavy beatings went on also, yeah. So he sweared on his mama, on his papa, on his own grave that uh, that he will destroy me completely already in 1995, right? It is exactly where you see this here, memorial dedicated to the NOB, exactly here. Yeah. And this year I was supposed to choose here inside of the forest where I'm going to be hiding myself. Yeah. Then they had this guy Vinko from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia that would hike me to this location here. Uh, entire psychiatric personnel will make sure that they would deliver me during MK Ultra here. They would rehearse with me. Uh, entire or scan all this area on how you know so the supposed to be that he had in his mind on how he's going to destroy me through this memorial dedicated to the national resistance is pretty diabolical this individual this Milan Kuchan really here uh, a, a beatings went on um, along this uh, trail, there is uh, a stream, uh, walking back and forth, driving with the police officers, beatings, no right to sleep, no right to rest, uh, drugged up back and forth. That's what I was delivered by American Central Agency from United States of America for. That's what I gained through United States citizenship, yeah? It's a beautiful, beautiful stream, uh, walking on both sides, back and forth. So 2001, uh, it started earlier, this stuff. It started in 1996, scanning all these forests, back and forth, back and forth, beating in front of this partisan memorial. Uh, this became like a fucking obsession of Milan culture in this area. This is a total, total war zone. Like, maybe even, I don't know. He was crazy. This was, this man was insane. This was, this was, this was worse than any, I don't know how I would even explain. Mental patient is what this guy is. Severe mental patient. The most, most severe mental patient. Yeah, oh, this is how things are. You know, so that I have to find myself on this map, and that's how it's going to be the procedure done. Uh, and unfortunately, really, inside of the European Union, inside of the Strasbourg, inside of the Berlin, inside of the Brussels, more than anywhere, you know, where you have this European Union parliamentarians, like, you know, in this European Union assembly. You have these people like Schultz, you have all these beautiful people that are so nicely fluent about the human rights, about the justice issues, people gather. Uh, nothing until this, you know, nothing, uh, nothing until what? Nothing until I fucking drop dead, right? Uh, nothing until this, yeah. Nothing until this. So that's how it should be done. It should be done with a cancer, it should be done with a thrombosis, with a failing kidneys, and we're going to be in a rain and in a heat, uh, in a cold and warm, hot, whatever the fuck is going to be, like a homeless, we're going to be walking back and forth in Ljubljana to assist human rights ombudsman uh, in, actually in abuse, in a human rights violations. Not in a human rights violations, but what I stated to you I lost 30 years on my entire health uh, 
in genocides against myself. That's that's how it's gonna be done. That's how it's gonna be done. Okay. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about this video for you to understand what Slovenia is, what kind of place this is. How it all started, who started this stuff. Um, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to have anything to do with this crazy stuff. Uh, for me, I always liked fishing, you know, fishing is what I liked. And uh, all I wanted to do is I wanted to run away from it all. I can tell you the guys, they did go and wash themselves here in this place. It's a very beautiful place here that you can go and, uh, you know, soak yourself and take a swim, basically, to be clean so you don't stink of walking in the city and stuff like this. Yeah, this is what, what they have made out of Slovenia. This is what the European Union brought me. This is a gift I got for a better and for the worse. No. The guys that would come here and uh, who suffer is what they claimed. This is basically people who crave for more money, for promotions, for better jobs, for better positions, for their families, for the businesses, for whatever they sacrifice themselves for uh, did tried to sleep inside in here along the river yet it, it, this was not it was just uh, I would say like Olympic games of insanity because they started to heckle them during the sleep and inside in a total fucking paranoia like again you you would sleep and all of a sudden they would get you and drug you up throw the gaze basically over your face and drug you up have you inhale some sleeping fumes uh, anesthesia basically and then throw you on MK Ultra by having you absorbed some stuff uh, in Traveno and you're bye bye, and then anything can happen with you. He was advised, screamed at actually by Kuchan that he had to go up there, up there. Uh, yeah, I actually even doubt that any of these guys actually did lodge, but do you know? When I told you and you were able to see how they told, they promised me. <clears throat> they throw the watch, they throw the cables in front of me. They supposedly be ordered from the AliExpress, from the eBay, and so on. Uh, <clears throat> from Alibaba, I should say, because Alibaba was much older, anyways, <clears throat> and. All these companies actually, and then they demonstrate me. Do you see this? Do you see this on the watch? Do you see this on a cable? How it's cut? Do you see this? Do you see that? That's what you're gonna get, and I'm gonna get yours. And I did not understand anything, and they did to me like this with I don't know, maybe thousand items, stealing the mechanism from the watches, this chopping the cables, destroying this, destroying. Tree pot, destroying computer, destroying cutting the cables, everything fucking cut, chop everything, replacing the tires on the car with the used or worn out tires for me to get killed myself. What actually I could even use if observed on time as a proof that they switched me even the tires on the car and so on. Man, uh, a lunacy impossible to tell. And this was yet the last. A request from the Milan coach and Pavlovich over there 
and report myself to Interior Ministry, Slovenian Interior Ministry, uh, and Slovenian police investigators, and of course, beginning with a human rights ombudsman and so on, before I would complain, just as I stated, <laughs> Europeans from European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, parliamentarians in Brussels, uh, Angela Merkel, of course, who was my best friend from Berlin, with a German Reichstag, uh, with a Netherland, where now Europol is located. Uh, all this sided with me, uh, giving me all sorts of information about why I should fear them, them. They never stated whom. That was all self evident, should have been self evident to me, like a cancer, like everything else. They in, inside and in paranoia, uh, you know, sided with me. Well, sided, obviously, sided with what they anticipated is going to be a death. Yeah, with a, for the sake of. What I also demonstrated here is a post to you. This post here. I don't even know who the fuck for anymore. Is it for Milan Kuchan or is it for Prince, now King Charles, and his son, Prince William? Because it was Prince William who took off where daddy left. You know, and I precisely, precisely, precisely have described how it all happened. This is a bestiality. This is a bestiality. And if you, if you did not read this stuff about what I told you, this were butcheries. This was no human experimentation, if that's not bad enough. This is not about MK Ultra. You know, this is just the stuff that MK Ultra and even human experimentations became an excuse, you know, for you to accomplish this type of sort of stuff, you would have to do some really, really disgusting, repulsive, incredible stuff to the human being so that you could further and further and further experiment on one, including the aneurysm, thrombosis, heart failure, cardiac arrest, those kind of issues through literally failure of the kidney. You would have to do some extremely, extremely disgusting, mentally ill stuff for you to go as far as this, yeah. So, just wanted you to know, just want you to understand uh, a, a Milan Kuchan and his team, how they have envisioned uh, a progress of my human rights, what it appears also together with the Germans, with British, uh, with this mighty European Union and NATO uh, American citizenship which I accomplished in 2000 yeah with all these Americans that sided with me that I was throwing myself in fire for <laughs> this newly founded homeland sake how they have envisioned this human rights of mine. I, I thought that, that that this stuff deserves, you know, to be video recorded beforehand, before I actually appear in Ljubljana, because I will appear in Ljubljana to kick some butt. Eighty-three euros for a lodging <clears throat> without authorization in Slovenia, sleeping overnight, whatever. Uh, yes, indeed. That's why a zoo in Ljubljana, maybe, if I repeat the words of uh, Alex Berger and his father Miroslav Berger, maybe. You know. you know, this is Slovenia. This is Slovenia. I want you to understand what exactly went on during MK Ultra. I want you to understand the whole thing about exactly what went on, how it went on, who was behind it all, why they were, what they wanted to accomplish, what the people wanted from me, what, how, how far did they want.
okay so that's how we're going to do that stuff thanks for watching this video i'm going to post the link from this post right below so that you can understand the whole thing about why this stuff was necessary who demanded who needed this stuff you know it wasn't about them it was about somebody else in berlin it was about somebody else in brussels hiding it was somebody else like joe biden bill clinton beginning that was the worst president the criminal who started this stuff against me who took this shit of for 30 years, he dragged me through the genocide, butchered me. Oh, what this guy did to me. George Bush, the famous president who so much sided with me. And finally, a big disappointment known as Barack Obama. Replaced by Donald Trump. People who gave the orders from the top down uh, and then also people right on the bottom that simply complied with this police brutality police violence because this case is about the police brutality about the police violence about worse than dictatorship about worse than what Adolf Hitler managed to orchestrate during the World War II and Milan Kuchan this little Slovenian man with Vladimir Putin just managed to prove this to the world. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.